Crowbars, why? And I'm like, why not? <laughs> they did not like my answer. It was actually kind of fun. I had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. We're going to just dump everything out here because, sure. Hmm. Sledgehammer. That's actually pretty cool. Peter Gabriel song. How long have I been playing this game, boy? Whoo! I'm guessing, uh... Well, it's been almost two hours for my second go-around. I'm thinking maybe three, three and a half? Something like that. Devil Moon, you read my mind. Ah... Uh, <laughs> what? I can't install the wheel unless I lift the barrel. It's too heavy, so I'm gonna have to somehow open the barrel. Open, please. Four hours now? Okay, fair enough. Three hours and 15 minutes in the cold? You've got a clock on me, too? I'm gonna picture a mermaid carrying a gilded crowbar and a velvet pillow. And then there should be the song of, ah! I think that would work out just lovely. You're right, I did start around 6.30, but I did have kind of a break a little bit there, Artemis, when I ran into some computer issues. Hmm. Well, apparently we need to be here. It's a peg leg. Of course it is. Why in the world do we have a peg leg? From a nobleman to a beggar, all within a year. At least with this little contraption, I can enjoy the lavish lifestyle of a nobleman, drinking all the wine I want and more. This is what happens, Cedric. You steal my title and my lands, and I steal your wine! Who's the victor here? <laughs> Endless supply of wine? That's one way to do it. Embroidered strawberries? You know what I'd like? Chocolate covered strawberries. Mmm. Those are delish. I feel like that's a good waste of wine. It's half a millennial old. Alright, wine wagon. All that to the apothecary. For a store that's spent 500 years underwater, it's miraculously well preserved. Preserved. Hmm. Let's see here. Nothing I can do there yet. I need some chocolate for my berries. Cough phlegm ointment? That's kind of gross. Such exotic ingredients. I'm sure that medieval doctors thought such miraculous concoctions really helped their patients. Ounce of ghost moss. What the heck is that? Ounce of unicorn horn in powder. Three spoons of snail bile. <laughs> Cook until oozing starts. Cool down and apply generously to both feet. Ew, gross. What is this? This is nasty. I agree, wine is yum. A headache remover. One thin metal spike. Three spoons of leech excrement. <laughs> Three ounces of dried frog eyes. Cook until a paste is formed. Apply on spike. Drive spike through nostril. <laughs> what? Isn't that like a lobotomy or something? What is that? Drive spike through nostril? Oh my gosh. You may not be curing a headache. You may be just sort of causing yourself to be brain dead. Inflating gas? Okay. It's a pretty straightforward recipe for a concoction, but unlike the two previous one, it looks plausible. 
Sure, it's plausible. Three plus five. Uh, put that over there. Get that off of there. Put that there. I still think that driving the <laughs> metal spike through your nose can't be good. <laughs> that cannot be good. Uh, what am I doing here? I lost track. It exactly weighs eight ounces. Yay. Okay, so then what? Uh, sure. Vinegar? Inflating gas! So what do we do? Just take baking soda, mix it in with vinegar? That's pretty classic. I remember doing that as a kid. Baking soda and vinegar? Hmm. Yes, yeah, spike through nose. That cannot be good. Yeah, volcanoes! Exactly, Kitty Katie, exactly. Okay, where is this lighthouse? Ah, oh, there it is. Got it. Man, 17 out of 40? We're not even halfway through the freaking lighthouse? That's kind of crazy. Uh, sh sure? Knife? Hmm. Not, that goes there, that goes there. Uh, nope. Basically, we're matching stuff in different cabinets. Knife is here. Horseshoe is there. The jaws. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing with that one. I can click this one, but scissors. Oh, feather. Yes. Where the heck's the scissors? Card? Card, card. Scissors, scissors. There we are, we did it! Hedwig, do you remember who lines your pockets with gold? Or who lines your pockets with gold? My next order is somewhat special, yet I shall have it on time and with no special charges. Otherwise, I shall be more than glad to pay you with blood-stained iron. Lady? What? No, I do not have Star Wars Battlefront. I think I mentioned to you guys earlier that I actually used some of the money, or I, actually I shouldn't say that, I saved up the YouTube money that I've been earning, all thanks to all of you folks, and I was able to actually purchase myself a PS4. But I don't have Star Wars Battlefront. I uh, I played the beta for that on the PC, but I don't own the full game. You're my favorite subscriber. Wow, I appreciate that. <laughs> thanks very much. So I now have the armor emblem. Uh, that's gonna go here, I think. It's a metal skull. Uh, we're gonna blow that fish up to make a fishing lure. What? That is weird. The games that I have for the PS4, I have uh, Destiny, I have the Uncharted Collection, the Remastered Collection, and I have um, Diablo 3, 
And that soccer card game, Rocket something. Rocket. Uh, Rocket. I can't remember the name of it, but it's the one where you drive cars and there's a giant soccer ball. Those are the games I have for the PS4. So, uh, fishing line. Let's see here. I'm not sure what I need to do here. Oh, one skull, I guess, can go there. Hmm. And more here, apparently. Uh, okay. Yes, Rocket League. That's what it is. It's Rocket League. It's pretty cool. It's kind of quirky with the controls, but it's kind of fun. I just bought Diablo 3, so I haven't really played it too much. I've mostly been playing Destiny, honestly. Uh, nope, not League of Legends. It's Rocket League. It's kind of like Cars with a big soccer ball. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, apparently we can open these. Okay. Cool. Now I got skulls. It's kind of good. I don't know. Like, I mean... It takes a little bit of practice, I think. It only cost me $10. It was on sale, so I was like, eh. I've heard some good things about it. Why not check it out? It seems I am merely following Alistair's footsteps. Why was he tinkering with that statue? Because there's a Ouija board here. In a place where the dead forever rest. A gateway lies built by Lord's behest. Seek his tombstone. Same yet distinct. Reveal its secret, a path that's linked. Maze by maze where no sun gleams. To the walls in which our Lord dreams. Hmm. My name will echo through eternity. Alistair? We did it! We have this thing now, but I don't have any gargoyles to go in that collection just yet. Hmm. You have a Ouija board? Oh my gosh, don't be talking to any ghosts! <laughs> I remember doing that when I was young, like probably a teenager. Get the friends over, get out the Ouija board. And then you're always like that one friend who's cheating. And you know he's cheating. Alright, Nicole, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Have a great day tomorrow. Team YouTube, it will miss you. So I now have, what, um, hmm, interesting, apparently that's a thing there, we can use our fishing hook to get in there. And now I have a chest token. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Lost Alice. I do appreciate you hanging out with us and following. Thank you so much. So, let's have a look at our map here. Mystery play. Let's go. Uh, still not sure what I'm supposed to be putting here. I don't know. Nothing, apparently. Where's my crowbar when you need it? Alice in Wonderland. That's like one of my favorite fictions of all time. Ah, uh, over here, of course. Yes. Oops, I guess I should pay attention here. Uh, no, stop moving. 
There we are, we got it. And we now have a graveyard emblem. Medieval art is symmetrical. It is, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, I mean, Alice in Wonderland, the book is kind of wacky, but I like the kind of character and the fiction behind it. But certainly not an easy read, that is for sure. I don't know what to do with the chest, though. Oh, never mind. I know what to do with the chest. I guess we're making some sort of boxes or something. Sure we are. Steps, please. Planker. We have apothecary steps. Sure we do. Apparently it is a planker. Maybe that's what we need here? Ah, look at that. We just made some glitter. How do I feel when I stub my toe? It hurts. Doesn't that hurt when you stub your toe? Let's see what we got here. Momento Moria. Okay. Grab some stuff here. Whoa, the dude just dropped that thing there. Hmm. Wooden mallet. Jester stick. Devil horns? Sure. Hmm. Between the legs and the arms? A pig head. Okay, that's kind of weird. We've got a puppet show, please. Yes, stubbing more than one toe at a time is not ideal. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be hitting here. I feel like that. No, that's not it either. So we now have a wolf head. Let's put that over there. People have a verdict off with his head or heads. Whack-a-mole. Wrong head. Uh, okay. So, that was weird. I'm not sure exactly what I did there, but we're good. This has got to go here. No? Uh, okay, apparently the old man belongs over there. So... Not sure if the jester gets his thing here. No. Apparently we need our jester stick to do this. Now we have ourselves a puppet. Uh, what walks on four legs, two, then three? Isn't that just people? When they're a baby, and then grown up, and then old. Child. I just don't know why that would be the old man, and that would be, I don't know, another man? Or whatever? I don't know. Oh, we gotta do this? Slide the figurines into their correct positions. Okay, 